Okay, another top 10 team that has struggled with putting away inferior opponents this year is Notre Dame. Um, today they beat Purdue 27 to 13. The defense looked a lot better, didn't give up a lot of big plays like they did the first couple weeks. Um, a lot better tackling and all that. The offensive line started their third left tackle in as many weeks. Um, first play of the game gave up a sack. He didn't specifically, but their offensive line did. Uh, we talked about it already some. Um, Notre Dame's by far, but their, their top three issues are offensive line. Like it's not even close. That's their biggest issue this year. I'm on record as saying, I expected them to be an average offensive line. They have, they've been terrible today. I thought they were bad, which is an upgrade from terrible. Um, and it was, it was good just to see them, you know, actually win a, relatively comfortable game against an inferior opponent next week it's wisconsin um, in chicago next week it gets real so they still have a long way to go um yeah it's just weird like it feels like they they have explosive play outside but but again this was an issue like their, while their offensive line improved from terrible to bad jack Cohn struggled a bit today especially in the first half missed some wide open receivers it, it could have been 28 to three at halftime. It was not 28 to three at halftime. Um, and then the, in the second half, Braden Lindsay drops a touchdown pass, hit, hit him in the hands in the end zone. Um, looked like maybe the sun was in his eyes, but you just have to make that catch. You're, you're a senior, you've played a lot. Kevin Austin, the, the stud, you know, we've, we've heard about him every single off season, has struggled with lots of season ending injuries. Today he had eight targets, no catches, and that's <laughs> that's just not okay. Um, some of that was on Jack Cohn. He also had a, at least one drop. Depending how you grade it, you could say he had three. Um, so the offense is just a bit underwhelming right now. Um, and, yeah, I guess you could say join the club, Oklahoma, Clemson, <laughs> Ohio State even to some degree, although they did end up with 41 today. But yeah, Notre Dame not looking like the number six team in the country, which is what I had them at at the beginning of the year. And the I, I just a question to a Notre Dame fan: if if you were told at the beginning of the year, Jack Cohn overall has I think exceeded expectations, or at least the ones that I had for him. He I think he's been he has been at least good. He hasn't been elite yet, but he he has. He has been better than advertised, or better than I thought that he could be. He was beaten out by Graham Mertz. Um, say yeah, say what you will. The to to leave Wisconsin and to come to come to Notre Dame and and to be yeah a starter and I think I think pretty good. W would you not take that? Like I understand, and I, I think I told you this last week after your close win last week, and it maybe wasn't as pretty as it could have been and probably even the week before against Florida State where it wasn't as pretty as it could have been these are still wins like you're three and oh and you're you're replacing a lot from last year and I don't know you're winning you're winning and it's this one was more comfortable if you if you beat Wisconsin next week and you beat Cincinnati the week after that you're even if they're close games you're feeling really good about yourself at five and oh right yeah the next stretch here the next five games Notre Dame plays or Wisconsin, Cincinnati, Virginia Tech, USC, and North Carolina. I would take a one-point win in all five of those. Um, the first three weeks, that was supposed to be when they kind of assert their dominance, um, and that's obviously not what they've done. Um, and it, it's great. Like, you do win. You, it's great to have your issues when you're undefeated as opposed to when you're losing games. Um, but, yeah, I, you mentioned Jack Cohn losing a job to Graham Mertz. Yes and no. I mean, he, he got hurt, kind of got Wally pipped a little bit there. Um, and Graham Mertz was the high, highly ranked recruit and was like a sophomore. And and they, they kind of just had to choose him um, coming into this season. They, they sort of had to choose the young big time recruit, especially if you're Wisconsin. And, you, and you've consistently had average quarterback play since Russell Wilson. Yeah, they, they, they rolled the dice with the young, talented kid. Hard to blame them for that. Um, but yeah, I, I think most, most people inside the Notre Dame program had pretty high expectations for Jack Cohn this year. 
not like Heisman or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but probably higher expectations than the general populace who, you know, watched him three times at Wisconsin or whatever, where he would hand the ball off 45 times. Um, yeah, I, I was impressed by him against Florida State. Less impressed today. And he did he did make some throws when he had to. Didn't play terribly. Um, but yeah, just overthrew a few receivers. This this could have been a lot more comfortable. I was impressed by the defense. I mentioned that. So yeah, Notre Dame, good team. We'll find out in the next few weeks how good because this could be a, the number five team in the country or it could be the number 25 team in the country right now. It's just hard to tell.